Back again, so unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard the news by now that Tesla finally introduced the uh, long rumored 100 kilowatt hour battery pack for the Model S and the Model X. Now, I've decided to wait a couple days before I put my comments out there because I really wanted to gather my thoughts on um, what, how they achieved this and what are the implications for eventually, you know, the Model 3. So let's let's look back at the past a little bit. When Tesla first introduced the Model S, it had a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack and an 85 hour, uh, 85 hour, uh, 85 kilowatt hour battery pack. Um, since then, they've they've introduced a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, a 90, and now we have the 100. Now, up until the 100 hour uh, kilowatt hour battery pack, uh, most of the been changes, uh, especially from the 85 to the 90, is uh, essentially new chemistry in the battery cells. Now. Uh, Tesla's even said that even the new 100 kilowatt hour battery pack is still employing the 18650 battery cell that's been common to the Model S since the beginning. Um, in this case, with the new battery pack, it's not chemistry changes. Um, I believe the most of the chemistry changes uh, really came about when they went from 85 kilowatt hour battery pack on the high end to the 90, so improved chemistry on those battery cells. What's happening now with a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack is, and it even comes uh, you know, from a straight quote, quote from um, uh, J.B. Straubel, is that uh, the chemistry is the same as you know, the previous battery pack. What they have done, however, is they've re-engineered the inside of the battery pack. The battery pack from the outside is still the same size, still fits, it's interchangeable, but it's the internals of the battery pack that are completely redesigned. That is, new battery modules, new cooling system, new electronics. And I think what's happened here is that Tesla's taken some of the thinking, perhaps, on the new battery pack designed from the Model 3 and looked at ways that they could increase um, the cell count on the Model S battery pack by re-engineering the modules so that they can get a tighter fit. I think the tolerances inside the battery pack, they probably determined that there was some room to play. I think the cooling system was probably more than adequate than what they needed, so they probably re-engineered um, uh, the modules in terms of their tightness to fit in some more cells. Um, I don't know what the exact count is. We won't know until you know one of these cars, unfortunately, is involved in a crash or it's in salvage. Somebody buys one of the battery packs, tears it apart, so we can see the internals and see you know the kind of changes. Uh, but it you know it's right out of the horse's mouth. They've changed the battery modules inside to you know put more battery cells. Uh, Elon even chipped in and said that um, for the time being they've really uh, reached the maximum theoretical uh, that they can with the 18650 battery cell, and any increases in the future on the Model S battery pack would come from using new cells. Now, of course, he's referring to the new 2170 battery cell that's going into the uh, Model 3. So what are the implications for the future? Well, for the time being, um, he's basically said that, you know, this is the largest battery pack um, using the 18650 battery cell that they will ever be able to put into a Model S. So any future increases in capacity of the battery have to come from the new 2170 battery cell which will engender a, a you know a larger uh, pack now mostly it comes from the height because they need a little bit more in there so that's that's a, a minor consequence i don't think it's really going to affect the vehicle all that much um, obviously with a bigger cell they can't have as many but again that's you know that's kind of rectified by the fact that you know volumetrically the, the cell is actually bigger so they don't need as many cells which is also one of the reasons why the battery pack on the Model 3 is physically a little bit smaller. I mean, the car is about 90% the size of a Model S. So when you decrease the size of the pack because a car is smaller, you have to make up the difference somewhere, and that's where this new cell format comes from, where Tesla has done a lot of uh, engineering and thinking and you know, uh, optimization of the cell size in order to keep the cost down, as well as to make up for the difference in the size of the battery pack. So that's really where it's heading. Now, as far as implications for Model 3, what does it really mean? Well. It's been shown now that uh, Tesla has been, you know, increasing the size of the battery pack, the capacity, I should say, um, on average of about 4% over the last four years. So given that Model 3 is still another year out, we may see um, 
you know, obviously we're going to see bigger battery packs for this car other than the stated whatever it happens to be. In my mind, I'm thinking it's going to be around 55 kilowatt hour for the base battery to give them the range of the 215 miles that they stated at the reveal event. Now, those are conservative numbers. Tesla said that they expect to have uh, exceed those numbers uh, by the time that, you know, verification is done. So I'm not going to um, put forward any kind of numbers that I think at this point. But as always, they will have better, uh, bigger battery packs available as an option for people that you know want a bigger range. So, what does it mean at the end of the day? Well, it just means that the 2170 battery cell really has some legs to it, and eventually, once Model 3 is in production and battery cells start coming out of the Gigafactory later this year, and like I said, I'll posit that we won't see another battery size increase for the Model S at least for another year, because they have to re-engineer the whole battery pack for this cell. Um, because, of course, the cell's not even in production out of the Gigafactory yet, not until the end of this year. And I think that most of the production out of the cell factory uh, will be slated for Model 3 in order to get that ramp up uh, started, uh, you know, sometime late next summer, early fall, you know, to meet their, uh, their production demand. So um, I think I'll leave it like that for now. If you have any questions, don't forget to put it in the comments. Uh, maybe I'll put the little video. I'll put the link in the video that I did about the um, inside the Tesla battery pack for those of you who haven't watched it. So you can see how, you know, the battery modules are kind of um, organized inside the car. So uh, anyways, I'll leave it there for now. And uh, thanks for watching. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Model 3 Owners and consider joining our forum at Model3OwnersClub.com. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.